Amidst the sorrows and suffering insecurity has caused to many of our citizens, some of our compatriots will be tempted to dismiss gatherings like this as futile and important gestures. No one who is in a position of responsibility can deny the necessity for sustained action, for firm action that is in the form of proactive and sustained offensives against the criminals that menace us. Such security operations will not only cripple the outlaws, but will also reassure ordinary citizens, bolster the morale of the security agencies, and provide an alternative focus for the energies that have been dissipated on fractious and divisive endeavors. The situation in which the security agencies, most, uh, in which the security agencies mostly react to cases of banditry and, and, and abduction is unacceptable. We are in a war with these terrorists who are challenging the sovereignty of the Nigerian state and its monopoly of the instruments of coercion across its territory. Our security forces must collaborate to take the war to the bandits and the terrorists, recover and restore the ungoverned forests these terrorists occupy, and enable our law-abiding citizens to engage in legitimate farming and livestock production without fear. These bandits have lost their right to life under our constitution and must be wiped out in their entirety. There is no other way to approach the current insurgency situation today as far as governmental action is concerned.